Hi, I'm Mike McConville, Director of New Category Development with Horizon Hobby. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to disable the virtual fence feature of the Champ S Plus. Um, when we disable the virtual fence, uh, the other GPS features uh, of Safe Plus still work. So it still has auto land and it still has holding pattern. But in some instances, you may want to turn the uh, virtual fence off uh, in cases such as uh, if using a, a, a FPV camera. The Champ comes FPV ready, and if you put the camera on it, you may want to fly a little farther away than the fence allows you to. So uh, by doing this simple process, you can turn the fence off and keep everything else, uh, everything else working. And one important note with uh, disabling virtual fence is when we do that, um, we're going to use a full range transmitter. Um, we don't want to disable virtual fence if we're using the RTF transmitter uh, that comes with the RTF version of the airplane because it's a low power output uh, and virtual fence keeps you well within the range of that transmitter. And in some situations, if virtual fence is disabled, um, you could fly out of range if you're using a transmitter. So it's definitely not recommended to disable unless you're going to use a full range radio. So that's what we're going to do. And in this case, I'm going to use my trusty DX9. Um, so I'll show you just a, a quick, simple process to disable uh, virtual fence. So to do it, first thing we want to do is turn on the transmitter. Once the transmitter is on, we want to connect the flight battery to the, uh, the champ. And it will now start to uh, seek a GPS lock. Uh, as it's doing that, it's looking for satellites, we want to hold the stick in this position. Um, that's full up elevator and full right aileron. Um, so once it initializes, um, as it just did, the, it connects to the transmitter and you'll see, and you'll see the aileron go up and the elevator go up. Um, it's just following that stick input. So once it does that, we can, we can let go right away and virtual fence is now turned off. Um, Another cool thing about this is virtual fence now stays turned off until we turn it back on. So say we're going to go flying, fly FPV all day, or we just don't want the fence on for whatever reason, we don't have to keep doing that every time we fly. It'll stay off uh, forever until we intentionally turn it back on. Um, so to turn it back on, um, you just reverse the, for, reverse the process that we just followed. So turn the transmitter back on, then power up the uh, airplane. So plug in the battery, and as it's searching for satellites, we hold full up elevator and full left aileron. And we'll hold that until it gets satellite lock. And again, we'll see it got satellite lock because it'll now it'll follow the stick commands and it'll go to full left aileron and full up elevator. And there we go. As soon as it does that, we can neutralize and uh, virtual fence is now turned back on. It's just that simple. So just set it the way you want it and go fly.